What's up, guys? It's yeah. Connor here, bringing you a little assault action. Yeah, you guys have been asking for some assault, and I say I don't use assault, but on Village and Fallen, those are the only two maps that use assault because Village is wide open, and Ooh, Fallen I just enough. can't stand. So this is a 61 and 5, I believe. So a 61 kill, 6v6 kill confirmed, which I don't think is too shabby. You know, only four less kills than there was actually things up in the air and I should have probably gotten more like 75 and 2 or something this game I ended up dying a few off a reaper and a pavlo a couple of times this game I know that for a fact running the ACR with predator uh, what is a predator reaper pavlo so yep yeah, that's basically my main setup if I ever use assault because I like my last kill streak to be one I don't have to control so I can go get ready for my next one while they're all focused on the pavlo up in the air and that's basically all I do when I run an assault. And yeah, that's about it. So I've got a couple things to talk about right now. First off, this is like the last thing I want to be doing right now. I'm like ready to go to bed. Just finished my worst Call of Duty day ever. Holy cow. I didn't play for too long. I played for like two hours today. But holy, I my highest kill streak was like a 16 or something. I mean, are you serious? I normally get 16s like at least every every other game, if not every game, get a 16 or higher. So today was terrible. I don't know what was going on. But it's whatever. It was also the day Brian decided to get his first four Moabs. He hasn't even gotten a Moab yet, and he decides he's going to get four today, I guess. So he's been killing it today, and Ethan got a Moab, and basically everyone except for me got a Moab. So that's obnoxious, but it's whatever. It's whatever. So I've got... what. Well, let me talk about this first. First off, um, I am go joining a community, a Call of Duty, not a Call of Duty community. Like, oh, sorry, I'm clicking the jump drive again. Makes that annoying noise. I'm joining a um, a place called Nevo, Nevo something. I don't, <laughs> sorry, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a Nevo, whatever, whatever. And it's <laughs> called. I should have, I probably should have figured out what this was called before I actually did it, but. Um, Nevo, I pre oh, it is, it's called Nevo, that's just it, it's Nevo, um, means Next Evolution Gaming, and what it is, it's another, um, like a, not a community, but like a, a channel that other people can put their, put their, uh, mm -hmm. videos up on, so it's like Yaush, but I don't have to do no stupid, uh, the reason I didn't do Yaush was because I was just becoming a partner with them, and they, not director, they, the dudes were, are retarded at Yaush, I mean, Yaush was a good program and all, but I couldn't stand those people that were running Yaush, and they would have made me talk over, like, commercials for them and whatnot, and I'm not doing that, so this one, I just gotta put my videos up on their gaming, um, or up on their channel, and I know Bond Figgy is one of the main um, people of it, and then two other guys run cool. it, and so it's just a little place I'll be able to put up a couple videos a week, hopefully get me a few more subs, a few more views, and maybe I'll be able to get up to that Machinima partnership eventually, which would be sweet, but that's basically, that's what that's going on, and if you guys want to apply, this is good. There's no really channel requirements or anything. You just, um, there, I'll put a link down below for where you can apply to become a director. It'll just give you a few guidelines and then you just fill it out and send it in. And if you guys want to, um, help get your channel grown too, this will help you guys out a lot. Hopefully it'll help me out too. They have no size requirements or anything. All you have to do is just fill it out and they'll see if they like your videos and if they're good enough. And then you could become a director also and we could be directing some Modern Warfare 3 playing. So that'd be pretty sweet. Get in this on this, get in on this together. So that's for you guys putting out videos with smaller channels. If you think you have good gameplay, go check out the Nevo community, and I will have the the application to fill out below in the link below. So make sure you check that out if you are interested. And now let's get on to what else I have to talk about. I was um. Right now I've got a couple, I'm trying to decide what videos I want to put out because on Saturday is normally when I like to get out my better videos because that's when people are, most most of the time people are watching on Saturdays, wouldn't you guys agree? That's what I think at least. So I'm trying to figure out, I've got like three things I want to put out right now that I don't just, I don't really, um, I don't have three Saturdays in one week, let's put it that way. So, and I'll probably keep getting more videos, so I'm trying to figure out how I should do this and I want to know what you guys want to see first. I have a 41 in 1 regular team deathmatch game where I completely put this team on my back, guys. My teammates were terrible. They went negative 
24 total, and I went 41 and 1 with specialists. So that's the only reason we won. I carried that team like a boss with the P90. So do you guys want to see that one this Saturday? Would you um rather see? I want to do a it is written again, another one on generosity. Just something that kind of hit me this week. Something I've been like I've been thinking about, and how like when you think of generosity, you think of always giving someone something, always giving material things like giving them money or clothes or presents. But there's different there's different aspects of that and I wanted to hit more on that in a video so that's another thing I've got up and then my third one that I wanted to talk about is I wanted to do um I've been thinking for a couple weeks now I've wanted to kind of voice my opinion on the Call of Duty community and I know Fear Crash just did it and then uh, Fisticuffs did it and then a couple other people did it and so I've been thinking about it for about a month but they end up getting out before me and I still want to do that and because just kind of like the hip hip I like to say that hypocrisy, hypocrisy, hypocrisy probably, yeah, hypocrisy, the hypocrisy going on with some of the YouTubers and just um, how YouTube is kind of getting in their head. They're like, oh, I've got 30,000 subs. Bring it on. I'm the best out there. Um, all you subs, you suck. If you're not doing what I tell you to do, do what I tell you to do. Use support. Run Ballistic Vest and we'll watch a game where my biggest problem is the Ballistic Vest because these, I mean, don't get me wrong. High kill streaks are sweet. But I've seen some, I saw an 88 gun streak where he should have died at least four times if he wouldn't have a ballistic vest on. And he had just, just in his live stream, he had just said, I hate, oh, he's like, oh, look, freaking they're running support already. What noobs. He said that as he was picking up a ballistic vest. I mean, that's the type of thing. And now one other thing, though, is people are getting really, really cocky, I've noticed. Really douchebaggery. That should be a word, but it's probably not. Really douchish. Um, but when they're getting big on YouTube, really mean to their subs, just kind of cocky overall in general. And that is one thing I never want to become. I know I've done it. Um, it is written on humility. I always want to stay humble. I always want to keep my rage under control, which is my biggest problem. Which is why I'm doing this rage challenge, which really is <laughs> it's going kind of kind of iffy. I've done okay, except for Saturday. Saturday was not a good day for me for some reason. But besides that, I've been doing okay. And also, what else I've been, um, so yeah, that's what I've been focusing on was my rage and how I never want to come off as being douchish or being cocky, especially either one of those guys. If I'm ever doing that, just be like, yo, Connor, being a douche. And just say it like that, guys. Just tell me how it is. And I will I will not take offense to it, I promise. And I will try to change. Try not to be too cocky. I don't think I have been, but maybe I have. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I've been a douche to people. I'm not sure. I know I can be a jerk when I'm raging sometimes. I don't mean anything I say when I'm raging, but I'm, it's kind of in the moment. And I'm really trying to work on that. I'm going to keep working on this rage thing because it is just getting ridiculous. It is so hard to control your rage in this game. And so I'm working on it. And these are just a couple things I want to talk about in the Call of Duty community. So would you guys rather see the 41 and 1 team deathmatch this week? The, it is written on generosity or my thoughts on the COD, COD Call of Duty community you, slash YouTube community. Let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Adios.